This is a game I've been suggested for nearly two years straight every single day. That is not hyperbole. On the Parasynical subreddit, there is a user that has been posting every single day for me to play this game. And they only stopped once I played it. He has been posting the same image over and over and over. Apparently this game is really, really good, but the twist is you only have one shot to beat it because if you don't, the save file will delete itself and you'll never be able to access the game again. But before we begin, I have an announcement. If you couldn't tell already, I have new merch. Right now the merch is live. We've got two t-shirts, two caps, one beanie in two different colors, and most importantly, my beloved pyro plushie. Look at him in all of his fabric glory. He's even got a little, got a little hoodie that zips up and down. Look at this. Wow, that's so cool. You could strip him off if you wanted to. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. All of this is now available on the newly designed merch website. I, I love the look of the website. It's even got this little face in the corner that changes emotes when you go over different buttons. It, it's amazing. This is the happiest drop I've ever made. I, I think it's amazing. Please buy it. Give me your hard-earned money, please. Prove to me that YouTuber merch isn't dead if you don't put Japanese letters on the shirt. And with that said, and after you've made your admission fee of one merch purchase, please enjoy the video. Controls. Oh God. Z is to interact. X is to cancel. Walker arrows. I think I get it. It's a little bit confusing. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations. Oh, bro, you got me playing a fairy game, didn't you? Nico just woke up here. There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. In the faint light, you can see the TV remote. 5614. So 5614. That should be right. There you go. Holy PC. Okay. You found me. You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. Crab at it. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. You still want to try? Now remember this. Your actions will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot. Weep. Oh shit, that just came up on like my actual computer. Oh, uh, it's one of those games. You suggested this for so long and it's like one of those funny jump scare games. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol based. Okay, we drink in that. We drink in that. Wooden the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a spark. I could use the spark to light the branch, right? Wait, what did I do? Oh, I soaked it with alcohol. Okay. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into the crack on the floor. Nico digs it out. The flames are dim but comforting. Use it. Why can't I use it? Maybe it's over here instead. Right. Okay, that was... Okay. Uh-oh. Going downstairs. Don't like this. Yeah, basement in a horror game, bro. It's done. What is that? A bulb. Oh, I got a light source. Okay. We did it, boys. Finally got a light source. A large light bulb. It's the sun. Combine it with the alcohol. <laughs> I must drink the sun. Got a movable light source now. Not sure what to do with it, though. Oh, maybe I don't have the light bulb, like, equipped equipped. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There you go. Okay. Now it makes sense. Also, newer version Steam do not feature this, but if you were to close the game before finishing, you would lose forever. So play like you really do have one shot. Play like I've got one shot. All right. Hello? Okay, he's not talking to me. This bed looks familiar to you. Weep. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and you can continue later. Don't be alarmed. But for now, there's no time to rest. Broken off section of railing. Nico takes it. The one shot is real. The one shot is real. Ah. That light bulb, you're here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Sorry. I'm a little lost. All right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. So you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location, just as the prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we've been waiting for. You'll be the one to save our world from the eternal darkness. We will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Can you tell me about uh, this world? Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That's how you've seen the distance once held our sun. So that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. 
Can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun, yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop the tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of the world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, the element stored light energy from our previous sun. Now it's our only source of illumination, but the energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. But now that you're here with a new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it in the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yeah, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, that's... Jesus Christ, okay. That's... that's not... Okay, Jesus. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? I had to guess they might be trying to pass the message to Weep. Weep? That would be our god. If you're here, that means Weep is also. Weep will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Weep yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you'd have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Weep. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus, all right? Hello? Weep, are you there? Yes. Oh. Nice to meet you. My name is Nico. I think he was talking to me directly. That's kind of cute. Do not be afraid to ask Weep for assistance. You are the messiah after all. You tell me about going home. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and that feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world, I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I'm sorry. Oh, might as well go in the house. A robot may not injure a living person or through in action, allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. So we're in the Barrens, which is the furthest point. Then you got Glen, and then you've got the Refuge. Okay. Self-charging solar battery, one year warranty. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power needed. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle, please contact the manufacturer. Uh, have I got something to pry that open with? Not really. Maybe I could use the metal rod. Pipe won't fit under the cracks. Need to flatten it somehow. Remind all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Page with photo ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Your electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. All other words, these small cells can only charge one single. Which of the page is unreadable. It's a big machine, doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's a rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit there. Okay, I guess I'll come back. The Barons. It's empty here. It's what it's called the Barons. Are there any people living here besides the robots? I don't know. I wasn't built to wander. You just stand here? It must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed. There was no time. I'll come back to him. I gotta, I gotta, uh, come back here anyway at some point. Machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. Oh, my st scarf got caught in there and it pulled me in. I'm gonna finish that sentence. Could you imagine if I equipped the, uh, the light bulb and put it in there? I'm not gonna put the sun in there. Do it! Do it! Oh, I got an achievement. Chaotic evil. <laughs> Come on, bruh. Let me do it. Oh, oh, I can use the pipe on that, though. Yeah, let me use the pipe on that. Do you want me to crush the pipe? I don't wanna get too close. Done. That was scary. All right, let's let's go back there, actually, and pump that in. It's a so little metal cube. Looks me. like it could be used as a machine part. Solar battery. I know what's about that. There was that rectangle thing in the back. Battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. But nothing happened. All right, so we got the battery and it's broken. Apparently a battery has broken glass on it. <laughs> Someone in chat said, what the fuck, you're playing one shot. That one guy on Reddit will explode with happiness. Something in the air here. Hurts to breathe. Yeah. I need some kind of mask or something to breathe in that, I think. Okay, mama. Mommy milkers. The light bulb. So you are the messiah. That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? 
No, I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. Cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. The robot back there says there's no mistake. I know, this is gonna sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. Oh, average woman, by the way. Average woman, nice advice, bro. Thank you. Holy cynical. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. I've already seen how bad it can get, right? I haven't seen much of anything, actually. Can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. You must be headed towards the tower. That's where I suppose to put the light bulb the very top. We know the tower contains a force that nobody can comprehend, and the power is strongest in the summit. Maybe we'll send you back home after you complete your mission. Don't take my word for it, though. Okay. Dear Silva, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. In two weeks, I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay, Kip? Please don't touch that. What is it? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. Couldn't even last a week without the sun. All we can do is make use of the light we have. I just refilled it two days ago. Guess I'll have to make a short trip. So they're using shrimp to, like, power these. Something is poking out the shelf. It's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It might help you. You sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Okay, that could be helpful. What's inside the tower? I don't know, nobody's entered it before. At least nobody in history knows who built it. Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know somebody wanted to study it before, but he never told me if it went anywhere. Right, I got a screwdriver. I don't know what I could use that for on anything yet. I, I'll try it on the broken battery. Can't combine those. Rip. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mine's been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. You must enter it. It's my duty to accompany you at least once. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. It's left of a camera. Probably even part of a robot at some point. Okay, what is that? Camera. Broken camera. Can I use the screwdriver? Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. So now we got a lens. So maybe now we can buy the lens with a broken battery. The lens pops right in. Nice. Okay, based. Then light bulb with empty battery. Using the sun directly on the battery. Never would have thought of that. Good thinking. Looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Based. Okay, we can stick that in now. I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm not I'm not going in here yet. I'm gonna go back. Be rude to leave now. Oh come on. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Sorry. Looks like the entrance collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? Oh, I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead? It's a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever. It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were in the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Hope he's okay. I'm so happy that we didn't do an OSHA violation there, guys. Ready to leave? Yeah, th th there's nothing else in there. We got the lens. I'm going to run that back now. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Imagine if that worked. Is this one of those things where it's like that code's going to be like in the game's folder or something? I hope the charge battery does something. Okay, so the generator's on. What does that mean? Oh, shit. All the robots are up now. I'm functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. I'm functional. I can walk. He can walk! He can walk! I'm so happy about this information. Oh, wait. The, f the computer. Yeah, the computer's back on now. Yeah, yeah. Let me go check that. I see you've made progress in this world, Weep. That progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. But that code no longer exists in this world. You understand what this means? Yes. Good, start locking. Oh, it literally is in my files. It is in the game's files. Check my documents folder. Oh, bro, it bro, it literally made a it made a file in my documents. How'd it do that? Message to you. I'm afraid I'll make it brief. I left you a journal, part of which is written in the language. Read it, and you'll know what to do. I've also left you a mask. Look for the metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. 510651. Okay, that's spooky, bro. It made a text document. How did it do that? I feel like I'm doing one of those eyes show speed streams now where he plays like sonic exe or something hello small person not much bigger than i am welcome to the lookout point 
Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. Five, one, zero, six, five, one. It worked. How's another code? Still don't remember seeing one. That's some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. What's in the safe? Let's see. Found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read anything because I can. I just don't know what language it is. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? I can't interact with it. What is that? This is interesting though. I can see why you guys were shilling it so much. So what do we do now? Uh, we got the the fart mask. We can go uh, we go north. Should be fine with this mask on. Hello, person. Welcome to old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Can I buy Undertale? Undertale at home. Come on, bruh. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. It's the end of the page. Well, we can definitely use the crowbar for this one. Good thing I have this crowbar. What a workout. Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. I feel like I I feel like out of all the things I've read, that's the one I actually need to remember. Oh shit, he's new. Oh hello. What are you doing here? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? Of the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? They have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. By the way, some robots may start following you around this settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It's their job to keep people safe. Can I not climb up there? I'm scared of ladders. Guys, the protagonist is a bitch boy. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference, I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening in the robots, at least not at this significant rate. Time will tell. Picture of a robot. They've been around so many robots before. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat. Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. That is not correct. Imagine he just gets killed now. The run's failed. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots don't even have mouths. Damn, you got schooled, bitch boy. Weep. You made me look silly. Unlucky. Unlucky. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get some sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, mum. Aw, that's so wholesome. That's so wholesome. The game uses your PC profile name as your game name. Why is your name Weep? Because my, my PC name is like Weep Weed or something. Sven is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Oh, oh, uh, can I capture it in the empty bottle? I guess you want me to fill the bottle with the gas. Yes, that will do it. Yeah, nice. Bottle of smoke. I don't know what to do with that now. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You're good to go. The box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but the plastic syringe seems to be okay. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No. Nope. I'll carry on then. I need to get something in the syringe, like a phosphor, and then I need to put it with a bottle of smoke, and then something with a sponge as well. I know, I've got, I've got, I get a bit confused in games like this when I get loads of inventory items. My brain goes a bit like... Oh, wait. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Or oh, weep help. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am w Robot310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Where can you take me? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. We'll find some way to... Oh, you know what I reckon? I reckon this 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 concoction I make is what fixes him, right? 
it removes the rust off him. So we're filling the syringe. I guess it's kind of like a funnel. The liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. It actually went in. Gross. I'm gonna, before I start mixing this, I'm gonna go straight over to the guy. So, filled syringe. It's full of the strange liquid from the ground. Okay, then we mix it with the bottle smoke. So I should inject the liquid into the cork. Oh, uh, I should probably shake it too. I change color. Bottle of acid. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge. Good thing I have these gloves. Hope this works. So now I've got wet sponge. Sponge soaked with acidic cleaning solution. So I reckon I can use it on this guy now, right? I am a genius. I am a genius. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where'd you like me to go? You take me to the tower. Calculating closest destination to the tower is the Glen. Port number one. My built and navigation circuits are fried. Can I assume that's not good? It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Is there anything I can do? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. All right, what's the issue? It said something about the navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Weep and I fixed everything else, I think. I have something that may help you. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Oh, it's that funny clover again. That funny clover. It's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's that thing inside the amber? The black clover? It's a common plant in our world. It's also... I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake here. Thank you. Done, 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 done. Base, 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 woman, woman, base. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you want to play chess? Yes, sort of. Played it before some older kids before. I guess it's the least I could do. Ah, let me play chess. Let me play chess. Come on. I'm based at chess. Go into my code. It's like being a robot and all. I've talked to all the robots and they all say stuff about my programming code. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. How complicated? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tame robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tame robots have been moved to the other regions. Exactly where I don't know. There goes my little horse. Nice. Right. Have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I still don't know how much still holds true. The world may be a very different place now because the sun is gone. No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. There's nothing I can do. Check. What? What? When does your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons were only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. Ah, oh, it's done. He got no scoped. It's done. Alright, I guess I kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. Hope you get home safely. Thank you also. That's cute. Did I get an achievement for playing chess? Come on. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Wait, he, he would have died. Would he have actually died if I, if I didn't sleep in the bed? Are you, are you trolling? W would I have actually died? You still there? Yes, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw you did? Wow. I really thought I was back home. The sun in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I'll be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. This isn't the world I live in. Really? I guess not. If you're really the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? In Birmingham. <laughs> Earth. Like stuff on the ground? Do you live underground? Yes. Wow. Can't imagine what that's like. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home is very bright. Warm too. You saw it, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. 
But it's okay because the sun comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? During the night, people usually go to sleep, but some people stay up and use computers. Anyway, we should probably get going. This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking systems. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. All this gas mask and gloves. Just He just leaves the bulb. Imagine. Oh, the robot's built into the boat. That's cute. One shot. More like uh, no shot. Here's your stop. The Glen. Should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. May your mission be a success. You leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. You'll be all alone again. All alone again. It's okay. I have not yet been tamed. Slow down, bro. Bro, slow down. Hey, bro, slow down. There you go. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Jero's full of fireflies. So they caught shrimp in the barrens, and here they catch fireflies. It's the same thing, really. It's just light source. There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. The Glen used to be in one piece, you know? <laughs> the one piece! The one piece is real! Now they're just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Daddy says the world is very sick, but weep can make it better again. Are you weep? Not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with weep, though. It's it's just the fact that my computer is called weep. So it's, it's like they all just burst into tears as soon as they start talking to me. Nah. Holy bar. Nah. Base sheep. Natural base sheep. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you. Wait, that's that's the sun. Are you our savior? Yeah. Oh, my stars. Sorry for the rudeness. It's all right. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but what does she look like? That was shorter than you. Long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I haven't seen anyone like that. When was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting for her now. I ran out of places to look. I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her too. Yeah, cry about it. Cry about it! The sun, you're the messiah. You're on your way to the tower. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name on the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the Glen for another. I need I need a pen. Are you trolling, bro? <laughs> Jesus. Video games. Oh, shit. Not again. Uh -uh. This won't be good. This isn't going to be good. Hello again, weep teams. I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Where, where is it? Is that my desktop? What the fuck? Bro, it literally became my wallpaper. What the fuck? What the fuck? Do you see it? Yes. You'll know what to do with it then. Okay, well, I'll, co I'll come back to that. Cool wallpaper. Yeah, I'm probably never going to change it, honestly. I'm too lazy to change my wallpaper. Savior, I can't believe it. You're real. Miss, are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could. It's okay. Too late for me. The sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? It'll make you better. No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I die. Would it be too selfish of me to ask? Don't don't make me choose. Don't make me choose. Do we do it? Everyone's saying yes. Like everyone's saying yes. I I I I genuinely don't know. I feel this is just gonna be the bad ending. Alright, fine, fine, fuck it, I'll do it. What should I do? Yeah, give it. Here. I've almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, based, okay. Wait, can I not take it back? It's the sun. We're leaving it with it for now. Uh-oh. I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. No, bro. She's got... She's... Look at her... Look at her portrait. She's got like an evil fucking grin there. I oh, don't like that. It's an evil grin. What, what do you mean it's not? She's literally doing like a smirk. Right. Vines are gone though, apparently. You're here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Do we have something like that? We kind of don't. What we got? Ooh, Amber. I don't think it's right to trade this away. Yeah, one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of those before. This is a guy who trade me the best for them. At oh, one time he bought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box, that's it. I wish that guy would come back. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. I'm a little bit tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes.
Yeah, chat, nice one for that. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to start streaming a lot more early, and I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish that off. I'm going to finish that off. Have some more chicken, have some more pie. It doesn't matter if it's boiled or fried. So I did save in a bed. I did save in a bed, because uh, if you guys remember, you need to actually save in a bed, because if you don't, uh, you, you fuck up the game. I think we're like halfway through the game. Uh, weep, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yes. I was in a big field like this one in my last stream. I saw my village. Then I woke up. I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of dumb weird trees and those balls of moss floating in the water. Say, have you seen a wheat field before? Have I seen one in person? Oh my god, do I ever leave the house? Yeah, no, there's one outside my window. I can see it. Okay. They're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean. It sucks. That's really cool. I've only seen the ocean on TV. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't even have glowy stuff like how it is here either. But I guess it's because the world is already so dark. I used to be scared of the dark. It's a little hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. Not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Oh my god, bro. I, I, all right, chat. You guys had a nightlight when you were a kid, right? That has just unlocked a childhood memory for me now. I remember being so scared of the dark when I was a kid. I had to have a nightlight. And like now as an adult, if there's any bit of light in the room, I can't sleep at all. I've just, I've just done the complete opposite. Really? Even though you're a god? Yes, I see. It's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, I wouldn't have lasted long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guarding me. So thanks for that. Maybe we should head out now. Why is this thing in the doorway? It reminds me of what I saw a while ago. I'm afraid to touch it. Oh, oh, this was the pattern. This was the pattern I had to set as my desktop. But but my, my, des my, my desktop's changed now. So I've got to find that computer again now. There it is. Okay. Up, up, left, left. Ignoring that one. And it's this one, this one, this one. Yep. I have no idea how I'm going to light up the middle one. Okay, that kind of worked. Based. Oh, it changed the thing back. Okay. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. Are you a Lula? The Messiah really knows. Oh, this was the girl with the two feathers that we had to... Yeah, whose mom's looking for her. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? How'd you know I was the Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. They remind me of the sun. That's why you're our Messiah, right? Well, a lot of people back in my home world of ours like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? Yeah? Yay. Calamus keeps saying how the world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Can we get much higher? A little bit higher. A little bit higher. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? Trapped in the ruins? Yeah. There was this weird stuff on the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes. The stuff you told me to stay away from. What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. Why is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Yeah, very bad. Great. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister. Just call me Nico. Hey, Nico, let's go bowling. Would it be rude to call you by that name? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Then would you like to visit our house? Yes. Yay. Let's go. <laughs> so much enthusiasm. Yay. Yay. So we aren't watching One Piece. WTF. Yeah, I, I don't think I could live stream the anime on YouTube, bro. I think I'd get a strike for that. Oh, feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. She gave me one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. You sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Well, that's going to be useful for something. I just don't know what yet. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen, but once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. I'm glad you're able to find her in time. I think it might be already too late to save her. 
I know, but I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Okay, so she wasn't bad. I was going to say, like, fucking hell, giving her that. Chicken tendies! Come get your chicken tendies! Chicken tendies! It looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, though, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim. Onto the sacred grounds. To where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mum. Well, her grave, anyway. Wait, how'd you get there? I thought you said that there isn't a boat. Our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could see mum again. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, if they could fly, we could just fly straight to the inner city, which is like, that'd be perfect. Just skip the entire game. You're leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. Fast travel. Ah, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, no. Yeah, good point, good point. I, I genuinely keep forgetting there's a fast travel thing in this game. Oh, no, not, not the cool badass anime glasses. It's done. It's done. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, yep, sure. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by the rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots and need you to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Most normal sheep. Okay, so it's not these ones I'm moving, right? Nah, I think it's the ones down there. I just like this one. He do be chilling. He do be chilling. Christ. Done. You provided a great service for all ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Thanks. You can probably trade that, right? Kind of useless. Nah, I'm going to take it to the uh, trader. I reckon it's got value. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take this wool, right? What can this wool get me? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what it is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye. Oh, don't give me a choice, because then I think I can use it on something else. You want to haggle? Really? Weep said that they wanted a better offer. Holy smokes. I forgot I was doing a trade with a god for a second there. Okay. In that case, I'll throw in this commemorative t-shirt. Do we do we do the t-shirt? What, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? All right. All right. We'll do the shirt. We'll do the shirt. Pleasure doing business. We can use the feather as a pen. Okay. Yes. Okay. Base. The t-shirt you're wearing. Thank you. You can buy it soon. It's going to be based. It's going to be. I love it, bro. It lit up again. She's gone. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She left, what, did she, like, shit herself? Okay, I'm gonna take the seed to the, uh, the trader. Seed left behind by the plant lady? What if it's her baby? Can't give it away. Especially not to a bird. That's racist. Give it to the farmer. You're joking. The crop's been growing poorly without the sun. Nah, he's got, he's got no, he's got no dialogue. He's got no dialogue with it. Yeah, I guess we hold on to it. Have you found something to write with? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Let me whip out my feather pen. I found a pen. Good. Please write your name here. Good luck. Oh, shit. Well, that's bad. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to keep going because I think that could that could just kill the run. I'm not, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. This looks cute. Damn. We in Detroit now. We in Detroit now. This just reminds me of the uh, the larger city in Stray. The sun. The mighty sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? You're supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess it must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. We're pretty high up. I guess I gotta go down a lot of stairs. Or find down a little bit. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. All right, thank you. Off you go, wish you luck. Why isn't this working? I think someone might need help. Isn't this literally just the, the crocodile looking woman in uh, Delta Rune? I'm too busy for this. Excuse me. Your, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into, this is embarrassing. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I'd like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but just take a look at it. it. Just looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but go look at the button panel. There aren't any buttons. That's the problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it exploded. You think we'll have to make a new one? How? We'll figure it out. Is this, like, don't hug me, I'm scared? What is this? Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. The sun gone, the night never seems to end. And how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. 
Your time here is precious. Please do cherish it. Thank you, clock woman. Uh-oh. Not again. Here we go. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange, transparent sheet. Weird film. A transparent sheet filled with numbers. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Pass this film through the void, then back... Wait, wait. That's something I gotta do on my computer, right? Ah, oh, okay. 63014. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. Not like you can see anything there. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. Saw a bit of that in my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. What about you? Where'd you live? I guess a village now. A village? Just like me. Can you imagine living in a city like this? I can't. It's kind of scary. But also really cool. We need to put that code in somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I'm sure we'll find out later. That I can take because it's flashing. Can I use something to unjam it? They're bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to... Oh, so I can use it. I just can't actually take it. Jesus, this corruption's like everywhere, man. Oh my God. It's an empty coffee tin. I'll take that. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. You think it's because the ground access elevator's broken? The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now, the only reliable way of transport are those elevators until now. You know, the tall guy that came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. It looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. Told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He didn't get it. Uh, I don't get it. Weep. Someone lives here. Can't just sleep in their bed. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'm still monitoring you. Alert level has been set to low. Don't worry, I promise I'll be a good guest. The pair of scissors in the ground. On a pile of hair? I don't think anyone's using it anymore. Maybe we can make a button out of this and cut a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. I can't some crafts. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Let's find out. Yeah, okay. So we need to take it. We need to then take it to the uh, the tape thing. Hello. 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 That is frankly terrifying. Okay. The average pyro viewer talking to the opposite sex here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts bringing up like how good every Ryan Gosling film is. The tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. I can't use the tape dispenser on the button. No, apparently not. Okay. I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. I'm supposed to plant this seed left by a plant lady, but the part in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Okay, that's good, but we need water though, right? Dirt. Finally, dirt. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. What are you, fucking five? Oh my god, parasitical reference! TV head! TV head! TV head! I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will when I see her again. Yeah, great dialogue, dickhead. That's all they wrote in the game. That's it. I laugh, useless character. I laugh. Fridges, magnets, maybe they'll come in handy. Hope nobody will mind us taking them. Based. Okay. Button, magnets. The magnets don't stick. But what if I folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. Hope that's good enough. Yeah, we probably still need the tape. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it right if I take a nap? Yeah, sure. Let's save. Holy pancakes. Finally, pancakes. Honestly, I think pancakes are kind of fucking mid. End of the dream. I'm always there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. People always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. You have a birthday too? Yes. What's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Do you like pancakes? No. I think they're shit. They're tasty. No, they're not. They, they suck. Like, I, I, bro, I, I, when I went to VidCon in, uh, Cali, I went to, like, an IHOP, and I got pancakes there. They were vile. They were vile. Maybe you should give them a chance. My mama makes the best pancakes, and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. One of the neighbors makes a lot of food, a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes. Do they share food with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not very nice of them. Yeah, they're dickheads. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. 
I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Pancakes are good. I mean, power to you if you enjoy them, but I just think they're so mid. Hope this helps you grow a little seed. Seeds in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Okay, I love this game so far. I really do. But if there was water back in the glen, I can't get now, even though this other guy has water. That is stupid. That is really stupid. If I go back to this can now and it just says, like, it's a can, then that's L. That's like L. A watering can, it's half full. I can't take it, really? That sucks. Why can't I take it? A watering can, it's half full. I, I can't take it. That sucks. The tape dispenser. Oh, of course. Can tape it together. Might fall apart. Good thinking. So now we've got the taped button. Nice. Okay. I, I'm convinced I've missed the water, which is a fat L. Whatever. Dude, my, my, my achievement brain is like like having a, having a seizure right now that I'm not going to do everything in the first run. Let's hope this works. Whoops. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code. What? They've happened before. The squares. You saw them, right? They're on the door and... Square stuff happened all the time. The whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been... It's broken before. I guess we should go look for a code. 63014. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Weep. Alright, the whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. You've been waiting this whole time? Holding the door open? Didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I should have told you. Don't worry about it. I am so annoyed I didn't get that water. I actually cannot let that go. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God themselves. This is awkward. Maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. Ask about... No, resume awkward silence. Based. Is that it? Is that going to be the whole thing? They don't even talk. Actually, this is like the Evangelion elevator scene. Don't make it. Oh, it's going to be silent the whole time. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Nico. Right. See you around, kid. I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. <gasps> running water? Maybe I can still get it for the soil. Curious marking on the wall. Looks kind of like a ram. That's we can defo come back to that. That looks like a doorway. Oh, what if I use the t-shirt? I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. Based. We did it, boys. This ram doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word bar is written on its wall. That one isn't a ram. That one is read only. Yeah, it's not funny. I guess that's it for my jokes. Cannot be helped. They were quite bad. I got that one. I, I, I didn't get it. Chat, did you get it? I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Oh, a tree. And a fox ran up the tree. You see that fox? Just ran behind the tree. Yeah, I, I just explained that. I'm sorry if you're looking for me, but I cannot talk to you. Not now. But can you promise me something? If you can find a way to return, please do. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. A quick death promises the least pain, don't you agree? Plays Dark Souls once. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. While we're here, what do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian. Allow me to call her. She's not picking up. She's not there? She is. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she's concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Go in there and see her in person. Leaving this post is not in my programming. Can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Don't have a library card. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I need to come back here later then, I guess. I gotta get a library card. She's not picking up. I figured. You sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Even in an emergency, my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. 
You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Okay, yellow. What? How do I solve this? That is part of the test. Well, I don't know. I don't know what this is. So this is shit. <laughs> ah. If I go out and change the color and come back, does it reset? No. I don't want to... I don't know what to do. Pull the lever. Oh, it's trial and error. Okay. I thought I had one attempt and it locked me out. All right. Two lights correct. Access denied. Nine. Tr Shit. Okay. I've actually. I've, I, I gotta. I gotta open up a word doc for this. I gotta open up a word doc. Two lights correct. Access denied. Eight tries left. That means the two orange ones are correct, right? Five. Base. Done. 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 Hello. Woman. Oh shoot. If I'd known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the clock. There you are. Sorry about the weird security measures. So can I help you with anything? You know, and get a library card. A library card. Got to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. At the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. That does sound like Georgia, right? Sorry you caught her on a bad day. Wait, I know. I'll just give you my library card. It won't be hard for you to get another one. You're all set, I think. Wait, I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. That was a joke. Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot won't take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Right, yeah. Something's poking out the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? You sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Uh, Kip's library cards. Card is covered in glue and glitter. Oh, that's right. It will cover the, uh, the face. Oh, it's sticky. I probably need to get my face on it, but yeah, I need to find out the lens first. Been walking all over the world. I can't imagine. Do you get tired sometimes? I don't mind. It's actually pretty. Glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world still is a beautiful place. What would it look like with the sun? Kind of embarrassing to admit, but I haven't actually seen. Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay in here and build robots. The other ones exploring the world, I just write down the data. Crunch numbers, generate graphs. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. It's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that would fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. It's me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... It's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Don't overwork yourself. Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar? I wonder if she's related to the robot who gave me the amber. I must want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh, yeah, good point, good point. Oh, that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barons gave it to me. She looked kind of like you? I see. Sigh. Less, less sad sigh. It was supposed to be a breakthrough. I even based on myself, so I'll know it works. We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was like the only other time... I've seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life. But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. She's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker. After he was though, ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. Sorry for the rambling. Should hold on to that amber. I will. Oh, that worked. Based. Alright, nice. Cheese? Nice. My eyes. 
All right, so we can probably combine that now with the... Nice. And it's done. Okay, let's go to the library now. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match, successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day. Maybe I should have changed the name. Hello there. You must be the savior and also the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. Thank you. Can I help you with anything? I want to know what I should do next. I think I'm supposed to go into the tower. That's right, the tower. I know there's a small room that you can get into, but I'm afraid nobody knows how to go beyond that. Not even silly old me who spends her entire time reading books about the world. I think you need some help from Weep, but I don't know any details. I've never found any books about this before. I think there'll be at least one book on this, but I guess that's just how it goes. It's quite the dilemma. I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it alright if I hold on to the journal for now? Might take a little while, I'm afraid. Go for it. Excuse me. Must be so hard to help us. I think you just have a nap. A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall to the right. I'm a little tired. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. I think I'm in the middle of something. There's really no need to up. Shush, shush. Oh, let's talk. What? Oh, the bulbs broke. Hey, Weep, I guess you saw my dream. Yes. It was... Well, let's go. Book on the ground. Regarding alternative versions, she likened the probability to rolling of a dice. Recently found the theory easy to believe. Nevertheless, still wrote it. Which did you encounter? So there are six possible personalities. That's cool. Right, let's go talk to her. Had a good nap. Wonderful. Had the translation ready for you now. Looks like this journal might be meant for you. me. Okay. Why don't you take a look? If you can finally read this, that means you're near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it has no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide you both to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, on the other hand, look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. So there's the translate. Looks like uh, the other page. Other page has been torn out. Quite a shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. I guess you can figure that one out, right? What does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. That means all the stuff containing yellow phosphor. They glow for a very long time, so people call them pieces of the sun. I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Very good, and I can help you with the last one. Okay, Pfft. that was convenient. Nice one. <laughs> I thought I'd have to go to like, the other side of the, the fucking world to get that, but all right, yeah, just give me it based. It looks like you. I know, isn't it silly? But now you'll have something to remind you of the library. Good luck now. I wish you safe travels. So what, what, what do we do with this? Do we, we take it back to the, uh, the elevator? Do you remember where the cafe is? Yes. I'm asking because I'm a little hungry. I'm actually really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So is it okay if we get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. You're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Yep, we went to the surface already. And remember there being a cafe here. Do you have any pancakes? Sure do. Don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, it's on the house. At least I can do for the savior, right? Hey, yeah, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. The pancakes! The pancakes are real! These pancakes are so good. Thank you very much. No problem. You look really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go to the tower. So I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Almost. My favorite food in the world, a special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them into the batter. That actually does sound, that, that, that does sound really good, actually. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad or lonely. Oh, he's crying, little bitch boy. I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. Don't even know why I'm here. Just want to see my mama again. There, there. It's going to be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? And you'll get to go home afterwards. Want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. So yeah, thanks for coming by. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. 
Close the game? Are you trolling? Okay. Should I should I have done that? Are you sure? You better not have been fucking with me. Put too much time into this game to get trolled. Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Where's the sun? Uh oh. You know what happened to the sun? Nope. No idea. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. I've had all our items taken away. Oh, hello, Nico. Hello. Congratulations, you're now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. We were always talking to Weep before. Weep has already left. I had to resort to contacting you directly. So he's gone just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. He's already finished their mission. And so have you. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you'll be home. What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there's supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now I don't have the sun anymore. And Weep's just gone. This feels weird. But you did good. You saved the world. You're not happy? I guess I am, but it's just... Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. I'm not taking that. I refuse to believe that it's just the bed. Fuck it. I guess I, I guess I sleep. I guess I sleep. Never even got to say goodbye. <laughs> Look at him in the bed. He's baby. He's little baby. We're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Well, that was like unsatisfying as shit. Oh, he's snoozing. Someone said, check your desktop. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there's more to the story. Documents, my game's one shot. Look for this symbol. Once it's active, please relaunch the game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was the, uh, there was a Clover app, like an application program you could run. Let me see if I can find that. I know what he's on about. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, so there's this, there's this thing here you can run. Uh, this here, this like application. Okay, so we've got that. So he says run the game while we've got this running. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, something different. Nico! Nico! Oh, we're awake based. Hello? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. It's just still not there. There's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting this here. Whoa, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We got clover. Use it on the bed. Use it on the computer. You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? Why'd you come back? Told you to stay away. You knew I tried to cut the story short. Is that it? You want more out of me? Is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Uh-oh. 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 Play windowed? It's so small, though. Open the clover? I can't open it. Look at the clover window. Oh, hang on. Well, we've got the clover, but I don't know what to do with it. Now enter the door. What the fuck? Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, this is G. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Have I got to sync it up? Have I got to sync it up? Like, make it the same size? What the fuck? Why did it just close? It just closed all my tabs. What the fuck? It just closed all my... Hang on. Do I do this? Overlap. Oh, the symbols. Right. Ah, right, 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 right. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I got you. Okay. Uh 
I, I still don't understand what I'm doing, though. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Like, they're, they're overlapped. Oh, am I meant to go left? Oh. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Apologies for that. I did not want... Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. So that's up. Is that up where we go? Yeah, okay. This being is a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Okay, so this one is uh, still up. Yep. Regrettably, I've seen it happen to dear friends. Up and right. Oh, shit. But not to worry, the entity cannot touch you. Oh, this is just left again, right? Yep. Nor can it do anything to me. I have already left the world on my own terms. I never meant for the entity to exist. Oh, what the fuck? This is like 3D now. But that's how it is, fully sentient. One thing became clear. The entity seeks death. That door. Death to itself, death to the world. A relentless desire. Fuck off. Fuck off, source. Fuck off. I'm trying to look where the clover is. Death to itself, death to the world. A relentless desire that manifested physically. So this door. You've already seen the scars. This door. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress. Stalling for even a few minutes before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. This will end the world instantly. I'm sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. But I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. Is it this here? Like what? We, are we running up this? I see. Let me just... Yeah. It is also the only way for the Messiah to return home, so we have to shower the sun, is what this app is saying. I did not realize things would end up like this. Please forgive me. Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left. I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? I guess we need to figure out where to go now. The sun lit up on its own. I guess... I should pick it up now, right? I feel this is one of those games where both of the endings are bad. I've got a nasty feeling about that. Oh, it's the home again. I guess you win. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb. That tree's fully grown now. That was only a plant before. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah, cry about it. I told you at the beginning your mission was to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is only is the only thing worth saving here. Final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. You only have one shot, Weep. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. Yeah, I thought it'd be like that. I thought it'd be like if you keep the sun going, he'd have to like be a protector of it forever. So he'd never be able to see his family again. Ah, oh, shit, that's difficult, man. Because one of them's kind of, one of them's a good choice, but it's kind of a selfish choice. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? I guess the elevator leads to the top of the tower. Are you excited? We're finally going to save the world. And I know it's for real this time because you're here. And then I'll get to go home for real this time. Can't wait to see everyone again. You okay? Seem a little quiet. Nico, yeah. I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. The world and you. What's that supposed to mean? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So what happens if we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? I'm definitely more inclined to not shattering it. I might do a poll. I might do a poll. I, I, I can feel most of you are going to say to not shatter it though. Oh shit, this is it. The world below looks so small. This is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world. But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it. What should I do? 
What's the right thing to do? Ah, uh, don't give me a choice, bro. How do I pick? All right. The poll, the poll is up. The poll is up. Oh, fuck. It's close. Oh, it's like 50-50. Return Sun is winning, though. Return Sun is winning. I think we're going to have to return it. I know that's the good boy option, but I just, I, I feel that there's something so final about shattering it, right? Like shattering it is, is there's something very final about that, that you can't really undo. You can't undo that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to pick a return son because 53% of you. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help. Promise I'll be okay. The little cat boy, no! No! The, the little cat boy! How how could we do this to him? Our little cat boy. We abandoned him. I mean, it was already implied that we can go back anyway. So I assume there's gonna be I assume there's gonna be more to do. I'm gonna wrap this up here. Alright, guys, thank you so much for joining. I uh, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.